India has a long tradition of maverick filmmakers who buck the trend. Today, a Bengali director who goes by the name of Q is viewed by some people as India's most subversive filmmaker. He's a man who certainly pushes the envelope when it comes to cinema. Musician and filmmaker, and one time TV commercial director Q is a man of many talents. His first full-length film was a documentary, Love in India, exploring how sex and love is viewed in his country. But the picture that really put Q on the map is Gandu. He's described it as a film about protest. It's centred on an aspiring rapper. It's a story about how a sort of a minority guy feels like being young in, in Kolkata or its suburbs with or practically nothing that your world offers to you. So it's, a, it's a very much about the streets of Kolkata and the, what goes down there and that they sort of go into this world of really cheap drugs and sexual fantasy because reality is an illusion for them. You know, so that's what the story is about. Indian cinema is defined by its mainstream, colourful, glossy Bollywood extravaganzas. Gandu is more grimy, something quite different, yet it found an audience. Though the film was a Bengali film, though the film was made with practically no money, uh, the film was black and white and had the art house sensibilities, all of these things that normally we have been told Indian people do not like. In spite of that, uh, a few million Indians uh, watched this film, though the government banned it, and we still uh, haven't been able to show the film over ground. The film's explicit sex and language made it controversial. It's traded on the fact that it was banned in India, but it's been seen at festivals, online and through DVD. Q definitely favours the non-traditional approach, not just for distribution, but in turning his limited resources to an advantage. And that includes experimenting with lighting techniques in his recent fantasy film, Tasha Desh. So uh, the entire film was shot with fluorescent lights that you can hire, uh, that you put up on marriage ceremonies to decorate, you know. They're fluctuating and from, with different color temperature and stuff. And utilizing that texture, we started shooting these scenes and um, somehow started developing uh, that space that I really like, that moment between re reality and illusion. Tasha Desh is based on a play by the 19th century Bengali poet Rabindranath Tagore. For Q, putting the film together with his cast was an informal process. Many of them were non-actors, many of them were doing it for the first time, they were young people that had no clue what was going on. I had very little clue of what was going on. So it was a process of negotiating with the space and the people and, and this text, which was also something that I had to negotiate with constantly. Changes in technology, especially the advent of cheaper digital technology, have made it possible for directors like you to flourish and do their work. He still sees filmmaking, though, as a preserve of the privileged. It is an elitist thing in, in, in India, especially if you make films. It's completely elitist. You have to be out of an institute to be able to touch a camera. And that's why I'm so much faith I have with my, in my medium and I think I have my own brush and that's the brush that I use, you know. When it comes to Indian cinema, Q is a rebel. He has won acclaim for his work at significant film festivals around the world. He is an anti-establishment figure who's proud of his status.